Yo, what's up guys? I'm Yannick from the Produce School and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your Hyatt loops way more interesting. I'm going to show you how to synthesize your own Hyatt and techniques like panning, swing and more. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and with that being said, let's get straight into the video. This video is mainly based on melodic techno, but you can also use these techniques in a lot of other genres within EDM. Let's start with sound designing the hi-hat. For this, I'm going to be using Serum, which is a really nice VST to do that. It, you can basically create any sound with Serum, but you can also use other synthesizers like 3 times Oscillator or Vital or any other uh, plugin that creates white noise. Let's start with an init preset in Serum. And let's remove the oscillator A and select the noise oscillator because we wanted to use some white noise. And there's a broad selection of some different noises that you can utilize. Um, I really like this one for Hyatt. And later on, I'm going to cycle to different noises to see what kind of effect that gives. Um, so let's just start with this noise. And shape envelope one like this, no sustain and a really short decay time. Something like that will do. Let's put some notes in the piano roll on every 16th note to get that really fast hi-hat loop. Let's copy it like this and loop it. Now you can start hearing that it's kind of sounding like a hi-hat already, uh, but this definitely needs some work. So what I'm going to do is to put this in a mixer channel and add an EQ to cut out some frequencies. I want to get rid of all the low end, so shape the band like this and just remove a bunch of the low end. Let's boost some frequencies on the treble. Get that kind of metallic hi-hat effect. And then I'm going to apply another EQ to cut out some other frequencies or shape the hi-hat in a different way. This is mainly just tweaking a lot. Um, so I'm just going to move some bands and see how that affects the sound. Let's remove a little bit of the hi-end. A little bit more, like that. To make your hi-hats more interesting, you can tweak the velocity. Um, so you can create volume changes within the piano roll. And as you can see, that doesn't work. Because Serum doesn't work that way, uh, most FL Studio plugins already have the velocity built in. So then when you play a note like really soft, it is soft. And louder, it's loud. And when you play a note harder, then it's loud. Um, but for Serum, you have to do something. You have to go to this section over here, which says velocity, and then you can link it to like any button in Serum. Um, and I'm going to route it to the level, like this. So now when I play a note like softly, uh, the volume will be lower. You can hear that. And now we can tweak with the velocity in the piano roll like this. So let's put it like so. And with this, you can create a lot of different rhythms that are really cool uh, to use instead of this basic 60 note uh, loop. So let's change the velocity of some notes and create a nice rhythm. Just gonna loop this part. Or something like this. That's sounding great. Uh, let's copy it like this and then we have a nice loop. Following the same technique, you can also tweak different parameters in Serum, like the panning, the note pan. And again, it doesn't affect anything on the synth, uh, so you have to route it again. We're almost getting there, but right now it sounds a little bit too electronic, if that makes sense. So I want to add some swing to this loop, and you can do this in some different ways. Uh, one way to add swing is by going to the swing button over here in the channel rack. 
this one and if you put it all the way up it has a lot of swing It's just personal preference, how much swing you want. Um, it's just a really easy button to work with. But if you want to get a little bit more in depth, you can also choose to quantize a loop. And in FL Studio, you can use the shortcut Alt Q, which pops up this menu. And then you can choose a lot of different quantize presets like 16 drummer swing, which is also a swing rhythm like that. Or we can go for 16 tight. Or groovy 70s it just really depends on what kind of vibe you want to go for um, since this video is mainly based on melodic techno I want to have some swing but not too much so I'm just going to put the 16 machine swing in there and lower down the sensitivity you can also choose to quantize manually by shifting the notes to the left or the right. Uh, for that I'm going to select every second note like this. And if you put it a little bit to the right, you already get that swing. We have to shorten it a little bit so it doesn't clash with the other note. And just a little bit to the right already makes a huge difference to the rhythm. And this is basically the same thing that uh, the swing button does, like I showed you here. Um, but right now you can see exactly what you're doing. Let's put on a metronome. I like it so far. Um, let me just add a kick underneath it um, so you hear what it sounds like with a kick. Let's put this kick in there from our Astral sample pack. In a lot of tracks, they have these electronic sounding hi-hats, like this one. Like, really noisy. To make this even more interesting, you can also choose to tweak some more parameters, like the decay. Which works as the length of your hi-hat. So, when I put it up... You get a different kind of hi-hat. You can choose to automate it by just tweaking the button, then go to Tools last tweaked and then create automation clip and now let's see what we can make with that copy this point right here and i wanted the hi-hat to kind of open up towards the end of the bar and then it's almost like a drummer that's opening up his hi-hat but right now it's like this really electronic sound with the kick you can also choose to just use a sample for your hi-hat instead of sound designing your own so let's say i pick this hi-hat from the pack and copy the notes in there put this an octave down and then just try another hi-hat. You can also choose to quantize it differently. If you want to go for another vibe. So let's see what sounds great. There are just so many ways to add like swing and humanized feel to it. Um, let's just keep it the same as the other one. Bring up the volume a little bit. Like this you can layer your hi-hats so without the white noise it sounds like this. And with the white noise.
another technique that you can do to make your hi-hats more interesting is panning them and you can do the same thing as the velocity just go to control and then select note pan instead of velocity and then if you go like this it pans um, the hi-hat with this you can create a wider uh, loop in the stereo field If you can't use the control pan function in FL Studio, like with the serum, it doesn't really work. There's no option for that, as far as I know. Uh, you can also try to add a plugin called Panomatic, which is a plugin that lets you pan the signal um, with an LFO, like this. You can choose to have it like really fast or slow. And with the amount button, you can choose how wide uh, you want the sound to be. I know that Ableton also has a plugin like this, and I think Logic does as well, but I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, this is how you can create those panning effects uh, on your hi-hats. And I also put this bass loop from our Astral sample pack in there, uh, which sounds like this. And with everything. Inside of Serum, you can also choose to use a different white noise. So let's cycle through some different noise presets. Which already makes a huge difference to the sound of the hi-hat. You can also pitch it up or down. Like that. And that's basically how you make your hi-hats more interesting. If you have any questions regarding this video or if you have any suggestions how you can make your hi-hats even more interesting, then feel free to drop a comment and let's see if we can learn from each other. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram if you want to learn more about music production. We have like really cool tips and tricks over there, so feel free to check that out. And for now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video.